To find the directions of the forces acting on the sides of the coil, we need to apply Fermi's left hand rule. To use this rule, first we position our thumb, our first finger and the second finger of our, left, of our left hand in the configuration such that they are orthogonal to one another. And we point our second finger along the direction of the current flow and our first finger in the direction of the magnetic field which go from north pole to south and the directions which um, the, 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 the wire experience the force will be given by the directions that pointed by our thumb so the answer that we get is this this side is going to move up and this side is going to move down and because of because of the force that acting onto the coil um, is going to be rotating in clockwise directions and it's going to rotate for 90 degree before it come to rest and figure 8.2 shows part of the coils and the ends x and y and then the question asks us to draw a speed ring commutator and brushes connected to s and y um, which is already shown by the figure here all right and the reason why the coil is going to rotate continuously with the help of speed ring combinator is that when it turns to um, up to 90 degree then what happens is that because of the momentum of the of the rotation uh, it's going to continue rotating and then this part here is going to be taken over by the next ring and then the 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 other section of the ring is going to experience the upward force again so it's going to and the process is going to repeat itself when it reaches the top point so the coil is going to rotate continuously